these ones are quite large so if you put them in the garden like I do you're gonna have a lot of plants in hello there my name is Liz a self-confessed succulent addict welcome to my channel growing succulents Look at the size of these ones. They're very easy to grow. They're frost hardy. They love water, but can go without water for a very long time. If planted in the garden, they can be left to the mercy of the weather for their watering needs. They love the sun. Doesn't matter how hot the sun gets. I think they can even survive 50 degrees Celsius because they have thick leather-like farina on the surface of the leaves that so doesn't even come off. These ones are quite large, so if you put them in the garden, like I do, you're going to have a lot of plants in three and a half years. So this is three and a half years I started with one plant. Straight away, I took a couple of leaves from the bottom so they will grow quite easily it's like this one's now here right now it's winter here in Australia they do flower by the way as well so when they do flower like this that one is ready I already picked that off normally okay I just stuck that in there about a month ago and I think it's ready not oh there's a tiny root at the end so it's one root can <laughs> you see the root on the end so it's not a good time oh this one's too see there's another root there so it's not a good time to propagate them when the temperature is cold okay i'm gonna stick that back in there but the inflorescence itself so this one so from one plant that i had three and a half years ago within say six months i it flowered and i started hacking or removing the leaves like this and they grow really really fast when the weather is warm so if you're living somewhere where it's in the tropics or somewhere warm then they will just you can just throw them in the garden like I just did <laughs> and they will grow but since it's winter here at the moment they will still grow but it's gonna take they're just gonna go to sleep even the leaves will go to sleep and it's gonna take until springtime in three months time when they're gonna start rooting well they'll probably start growing when we have warm weathers but anyway I'm just looking at this one see look how beautiful that is oh my goodness look at the pink splash on the center of it so they tend to grow really bushy like this and it's really thick so what I did so there's actually another plant in here before so can we see if we got the stem and all I did was just break them off and then stick them in there so these ones are all cuttings one two three even that one four five but I can already feel there's some resistance but it would be like a month ago when I broke them off and then stuck them in there so that one is still not good because it was covering this imbricata here so that's the reason why see it there see the stems you can see a stem there or a stump with no plant another stump in there and uh they're sort of everywhere just keep breaking it and sticking it in and even that one that's a stump there it's just sort of out of the way so just break it off and stick it in the soil and fills up this area and say in maybe in a year's time by next year this area now would be double and I would have to expand my garden and put them all over there because it doesn't matter whether they're in the sun or in the shade they will always color up like this so beautiful beautiful plant Graptoveria purple delight also known as Graptoveria crystal so these ones are mainly grow in the garden but if you do grow them in a pot this is what they look like so this purple delight I've got them growing in a pot in here and they are a little bit smaller and more compact and pinkier look at the small ones look how much how pink 
they are compared to the ones in the garden. So now I'm going to compare them with the Super Bum. There you go. So that's the difference. So Super Bum or Super Bum has got a flatter face compared. So that's Super Bum here. And that one there on the left is our Purple Delight. Look how big and beautiful that one is. There's another baby one over here. We're going to compare it to Mrs. Richards. The shape of the Mrs. Richards. And I think it's best to compare it to uh, the small one here. So the difference or similarity is the shape of the leaves are the same. But Mrs. Richards has got like a stumpier look and the color as well. It's got a bit of a shine to it compared to the Purple Delight or the Crystal. And uh, the, crisp, the Crystal or the Purple Delight has got more farina in it compared to Mrs. Richards. And this is not my Mrs. Richards nor my Purple Delight. This belongs to my friend Kanye because I haven't got a Mrs. Richards. And she's got this one growing in a cluster. So you got one, two, three, four heads. And probably there's one in the center, maybe. And this one, Mrs. Richards forms a cluster, whereas Purple Delights tends to be shrubby. And see the long stem. So that is the difference between a Graptoveria Purple Delight, otherwise known as Crystal, and Mrs. Richards. Mrs. Richards in the bottom here. So you can see the difference of the three now. So that is the difference of Graptoveria Purple Delight, also known as Crystal Superbum or Graptopetalum Superbum, and Graptoveria Mrs. Richards. They're all equally beautiful, but you can see that they're distinctly different plants.